are almost to Piedmont Dragway. It's Thursday evening, traveled all day, drove through quite a bit of rain. Forecast for the weekend looks questionable, but we are here to get the race in. So they said worst case scenario, they'll do it Saturday evening or Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. Sunday looks clear. So here's to a good weekend of the ODSS season finale. All right, it's Friday morning here at Rudy's and we are starting our day off right. We have a customer slash friend of ours, uh, Charlie, that has volunteered to cook for us. He came to our shop this summer, I think you saw it on a YouTube video, and he cooked for us while we built his trans at the shop and uh, he said he wanted to come to Rudy's and cook for us. So he brought a whole spread. So Charlie, tell us a little bit what you brought for us, the crew this weekend. and. Uh, this is also your first diesel race, right? It is, it is. I haven't ever been to a uh, drag race before. Uh, been to very few other races, but uh, start them off with some eggs right from the farm, a bunch of bacon, got a bunch of uh, butt flap, which is actually a, a really good kind of a chef cut. Okay. Uh, kind of an uh, obscure cut. Uh, I've got some lamb rack, I've got pork tenderloin, I've got all kind of stuff to, uh, to really get yeah. down on. So hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy. I think it's gonna be great. So we also, have some A5 Wagyu that uh, our friend Sam Smith from Carolina Diesel, he lost a bet to me about a year ago, and he was supposed to be here this weekend, and the bet was um, on a football game, and I won the bet, and it was, he owed me some Wagyu. He was gonna be here, and we were gonna share it together, but because of the weather forecast for this weekend, he decided not to come, so he ended up sending it up here, so we've got like, seven or eight pounds of A5 Wagyu that we're gonna make and show off for some people. So it's gonna be a great eating weekend if it's not gonna be a great racing weekend. But we're gonna be in for Q1 at three o'clock and Q2 at five o'clock today. We're trying to beat the rain. And then it looks like a pretty rainy weather cell is coming in. That's gonna be tonight and into tomorrow. We're not sure if we can get the race in tomorrow afternoon or not. If not, we're gonna move into Sunday as the rain delay. So just stay tuned, it's gonna be a great weekend. here today with Adam Foltz. He has the fastest 12 valve uh, mechanical engine uh, four wheel drive truck. Finally. That's my uh, record that you've been chasing for a hot minute. Uh, four years, four years. So uh, tell us a little bit about what you're excited for today and what you're going after. Uh, the goal is to get it back down to 590. You know, we had fun turning it up last weekend, but uh, it's time to go back to index racing and it's what the truck was built for. We'll see what happens. Uh, Blake Miller, you know, the guy that built the whole truck, he has designed a programmable AFC housing to control fueling, so we're looking forward to getting that tuned in for this weekend and really help us run the number for, for this year and, and for future years to come. Yeah. And that programmable, like normally a mechanical pump, as soon as you put your foot on the floor, it goes full fuel. When you have a air fuel control that as boost comes up, it can ramp in, but this right. is actually an air solenoid control, so they can do time-based fuel control. It's pretty cool for the mechanical crowd. Right, like we're like last weekend, we left with the same fuel setting for a 590 pass, and then ramped the fuel in aggressively as we see fit with the data. Yeah. What was your pass last weekend? It was a 520? 520 at 132. Yep. With Good a 126, uh, 60 foot, but we had yep. been 124 earlier yep. today. Just fight the track. Yeah. Well, good luck today. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Thank you. I squeeze you. I squeeze you. I was concerned too. So look, man. I was like, he survived the Bone Crusher 9000. <laughs> it's 9000. I broke nine bones. That's because. That's the Ass so, Buster 2000. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, the, those, those are the Knee Scraper 2000. Yeah. I have the Bone Crusher 9000. There you go. So Rod is the one who wrecked my scooter at Rocky Top, and he <laughs> broke scooter himself. Scooter wrecked me pretty good. <laughs> what all did you break? Scooter one. You broke ribs. Collarbone? Five ribs, collarbone, scapula, radius head, Where is that? C1 vertebrae, and my left elbow. Isn't that crazy? But here he is. You're back He's at. ready to race. <laughs> yeah, baby. Three words, He's a wonderful dude. thing, man. We're glad you grow back. I got, back. I got a call, and there were three words on that call. 
Rod went flying. <laughs> Rod, like, what are you talking you about? about? Like, Shit. Rod went flying hey, through dude, the that air. That thing is like, amazing. What? what a nice ass scooter, dude. That thing really moves awesome. <laughs> you know, I was happy to ride it again. Oh hell yeah! Why not? Okay, Adam Foltz had the fastest mechanical injection four wheel drive, and Johnny Gilbert currently has the fastest four wheel drive diesel truck out there. This is a stainless diesel truck. Let's go take a look. Okay, here's Johnny Gilbert himself. He drives this truck. Uh, Johnny, tell us a little bit about uh, you've been a 482. Yep. Is your fastest pass, yep, and yep, that is 58 uh, mile an hour has been the fastest in yep. the eighth mile. Yep. yep. So it's cooking. He's making a little bit of horsepower, and currently mopping up on the Pro Street class. You uh, <laughs> hoping to set the world on fire this weekend? Uh, we talked about it. We're going to try to do maybe a grudge race against. Uh, Nathaniel first round. Put a 479 on the board? Never know, man. Good weather, <laughs> you know, as long as we don't rain, man. Right. It's gonna fly. So yeah. and have well, fun. We're excited, we're glad you made it. Yep, we're buddy. Look forward to seeing you in action. Yep, can't wait. Sweet. We're gonna get it on. Go get it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Charlie that's cooking for us, his mom has this tradition of embarrassing him with a birthday cake every year. She found out he was coming down here to cook, so she contacted us and said that she's going to have a bakery make a cake for us. And take a look at this. It is a, uh, looks like a toilet paper roll with little piles of crap. And it says, holy crap, Charlie, you're getting old. And so he doesn't know anything about this. So tonight, once we're cooking and everybody's around there, we're going to bring it out, sing happy birthday to him, and tell him that his mom did his honor. So she says that he's already got PTSD from her embarrassing him all the time. So we're going to try it. All right, we're here with Tyler Burkhart, and uh, you are driving Pro Street truck. So this is on the same class as the stainless truck that we just looked at. And uh, you have been making leaps and bounds improvements uh, the last two years and getting this truck going fast. Uh, you've been as fast as a 505? I think 503. 503, yeah. Um, this truck was in the ultimate call out challenge that had a turbo explosion and caught on fire, so they left the wrap. It uh, makes them remember what they did. Um, so now they get to come out and have some fun in the ODSS races. Um, what's the plan for the weekend? You're going to get this truck in the fours this weekend? That, that's the plan. It's, yeah. only, it's kind of a big reason why we came here, just to the fours. How many pro streets are here? It's just Johnny. Is it just Johnny? Yep. And well, I think Michael Dalton's here. So RLC's there's three, three pro street trucks. Yeah. So, yep, the weather kind of scared off some of the racers from traveling long distances because the uh, forecast really doesn't look great. But we'll probably get some qualifying in today on Friday, do the rest of the eliminations on Sunday. But hopefully, you guys can turn the wick up and uh, put a four on the board, and that will that will just advance the Duramax record uh, for the fastest Duramax truck for, uh, for the four wheel drive category. Right? Yep. Yep. So I like to just kind of go through and highlight all the different brands because, you know, there's Ford guys, Chevy guys, and Dodge guys, and they all kind of keep keep score of who's the fastest in their crowd. So good luck this weekend. I hope you kick butt. Thanks a lot. Yep, sweet. Here was Justin Ziegler, and he's got the Baby Eater 9000 here on his truck. This is uh, the truck that he won UCC with this year. But you are here running 590, correct? Yep. And uh, this is something that he can turn the truck down. I mean, we've got the thing coasting to run 590. Right. It's like 900 microseconds, and it's like 1,300 degrees EGTs. Yeah. You could almost uh, just run 590 all day without tearing it up. So. Right. And then uh, what? You got a grudge race? Yeah, it's supposed to grudge race, Austin Deutsch. So we'll turn put, it up. We'll turn it up and see what she'll do. How much nitrous we gonna put in it? All of it. So four kits. Turn it up. Yep. Try to go, you know, low fives. Something like that. It's kind of nice to have a setup like this. You can turn it up, make some hero passes, but turn it back and run 590, and it'll run all season on the same engine and trans on a, in a 590 tune-up. So that's yep. it's kind of the, the spirit of the 590 class. So guys can come out, build a lightweight truck, and be able to get a whole season or two out of a powertrain. So there, it makes pro racing a lot more. We're, we're still on the same trans from UCC. Yeah. Sweet. So it's got dyno and drag rate or dyno and sled pull UCC, and then a bunch of test passes, shide. Yeah, a bunch of stuff, so. Well, good luck. Thank you. Yep, thanks. Sure. We have David Large here and his lovely wife, and you know what? I don't like standing beside him. He makes me feel extra <laughs> short. He make me feel a little more normal, but we're glad that you guys can be here. And last night we went out to dinner with them. We had a great time. This is your rookie season on 590, yep. and you're currently leading points, right? Yep, I think about 20. Yep, and she has done a great job of encouraging him. It's funny, because they came to us to the dyno, I don't know what, a couple years ago? Probably two years ago. Yeah, and she was in the background going like, 
he's gonna have he's gonna have a race truck. So she's been she's been coaching him. So wife of the year right Hell, there. I got so, this. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday she was like, you know, we need to go. Uh, we need to have the racetracks close to Home Depot. So when we break, you know, you can go over there and grab a two by four or something <laughs> yeah. like that, fix it. <laughs> JB well. Yeah. Everything's rigged. Just because it's shy. Yeah. Shy, you broke. Uh, you had a pinion come out. Yeah. Chuck the dry, dry shaft. shaft. He tore all kinds oh, of stuff man. up. Oh man, that was a nightmare. And you did some sketchy stuff getting it back together. Sure did. But you uh, still got it together yep. and made it to the finals? Made it to the finals, yep. then front end started shaking and <laughs> dry shaft and everything else I had to let out last. Yep. There's too much weight in Feet, so. so what, new rear end? Yep. New That's drive new, shaft? Yep, new dry shaft. Tighten up the front end parts so see if we can get it done. You're ready to lay the yep. smack down. Well, good luck to you guys. Thank We're you. glad that you're here. We enjoy having you guys come to the races. And uh, Same good, good, good luck to you guys today. Thank yeah. you. We love being here. Yep, thanks. Hey, <laughs> delicious. Okay guys, I need everybody's attention including Charlie. Charlie's mother wants to wish Charlie a very happy birthday.
something else, man. That is something else. <laughs>Saturday afternoon we actually have uh, dry pavement right now they're drying the track right now getting ready to start with 670 770 and ET hopefully that will get everything dried out enough on the shutdown for the slick tire cars so then we're gonna go into Q2 yesterday we ran a 429 at 182 against Ben uh, for Q1 and then uh, we'll probably just go with the second qualifier before we go into eliminations because already at this point it's going to go late. We're just trying to get the race in today, bouncing around this weather so we don't have to race on Sunday. So good luck to the guys. We really hope we can uh, knock this race out today. get it down the track really cold track lots of glue uh, not ideal track conditions so we made a number of changes suspension wise we um, made some shock changes we lowered some tire pressure and we changed some wheelie bar height and we're actually able to get the thing to go down through went 108 to the 60 foot so we're really happy about that it's the best one we've had in a while 
Um, tire still didn't look fully happy, but uh, it went through without shaking. So we're happy with that. Um, got to the end of the track and heard a nitrous leak. So we had a found out one of our solenoids was stuck open. So we were leaking nitrous into the intake. So we're trying to quickly rebuild uh, that solenoid. And of course, it's the hardest solenoid to get to on the truck. So um, hopefully we can get this thing together in time and not be too rushed. been a long day of sitting around and not doing much we had uh, misty rain on and off all day long and we made uh, I think three trips to the lanes before we ever got a pass down today uh, the last qualifier went really well and then we had uh, Brian Gray in the first round of eliminations turns out Brian was broke so he just took the lights and uh, we let off the button and shook the tires really hard so the first time we shook the tires this weekend but we knew we were on the edge of it a couple of times, so just fighting a really cold, tight track and uh, really hard for us to know what suspension changes to make to, to keep the thing going down. You need to be able to get the tire spinning, but you, you can't spin it too hard or you know, you'll lose traction. So uh, it was a fight. Um, it matched us up with Ben Shaddy for the finals, but unfortunately, just as our first uh, round pass came to an end. We were actually the last pair down the track. Uh, it started raining. Larson got on the radio and said there was a good bit of rain on the top end of the track. Um, so the race has been called. I uh, don't know at this point, I don't think they're planning on finishing it out tomorrow. There's a lot of us that would really wish uh, that that would happen because there's a lot of unsettled points championships, uh, especially, well, yeah, there's close races and all around. So. Um, we'll see how this all shakes down, but at, at this point we're going to kick back and uh, eat a lot of Charlie's good cooking. He's got the grills fired up and doing all kinds of uh, crazy prep work over there. So we're going to enjoy the evening and uh, see what shakes out. So moist. Man, I'm 